Hi, this is Colette from Go North Yarnworks. Today I want to show you how to work a waistcoat single crochet as seen here in my Artemisia beanie. I love this stitch because it looks like a classic knit stitch and it's really simple to work. Let me show you how to do it. I have a beanie here in the works and my pattern calls for me to skip a stitch and then work a waistcoat single crochet in this next stitch. So the first thing we need to do is actually take a look at the anatomy of a stitch. You have your two strands of yarn here that form a nice V at the top, and then you have what are called the right leg and the left leg. These legs make up the post of the stitch right here. And in a waistcoat single crochet, we actually insert our hook in between the post of the stitch. Normally, in a regular single crochet, you'd insert your hook right there, right under that nice V at the top, and continue working. But again, in the waistcoat single crochet, we're gonna insert our hook in between those two legs. So you'll yarn over and pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. And that's your first waistcoat single crochet. Now my pattern calls for a second one in the same stitch, so again, We'll insert our hook in the center of the post between the right and the left leg. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through both loops. So again, over here we'll skip this stitch and we'll insert our hook into the center of the post. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now I want you to note that when I'm pulling up a loop, I'm pulling that loop up nice and tall. That will allow for a little bit more comfort when you are inserting your hook in the post of the, this stitch here that you're working on. Um, and it will help keep your tension nice and even. So again, in the center of the post, yarn over and pull up a loop, pull that loop nice and tall, yarn over and pull through both loops. And that is a waistcoat single crochet.